Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Well, I want to tell you some good news. I am starting a character guide from now on. We'll be giving a full character guide for each and every character which are pretty confusable for people on how to use and are pretty good to use in the current meta. I'll include each and every small detail of the character leaving no doubt behind. So, let's begin the video. So we will begin with Happy Halloween Uta. Well, she just dropped recently with pretty broken traits, and being a first Bounty Fest character which can change class from Runner to Defender, it was limited to EX units till now. So, let's explain how she changes class. She's in base runner form and she can ignore the enemy and capture above 70% HP. After capturing, she will turn into a defender with refilling the treasure gauge past 50% and ignoring the enemy and refiling it above 70% HP. These are the main traits. Now the part for metal traits. Which thing you should use on her? As you can see her skills, she has fixed max HP damage which has nothing to do with attack. So giving her max HP of 70% through metal traits is the first priority because she has a shield too which is based on her own HP. Secondly, you can balance defense and attack like giving both defense and attack traits on remaining slots, but I would prefer max defense too and giving the last remaining trait as 18% attack because of her shield, she can even dodge ignore defense attacks. Now coming to her tips and tricks. She is a great in capturing treasure along with her shield. Yes, you just have to use your skill one on the treasure you want to capture, and if your HP is above 70%, then you will ignore the defender and capture. Since the shield takes time to break, you will capture the treasure in that time, leaving the defender helpless. This is the main thing to do when you use her. Also, if you're fighting defenders, you'll heal a certain amount of HP per hit. Try to fight the new Kamusari Shanks as you can remove his hockey easily if you're defending. Now coming to the pros and cons. Firstly, the pros are she has a crazy amount of max HP damage. Skill 1 gives 40% max HP damage, while skill 2 is a hold skill, which gives max HP damage of 18% on multiple hits, which is even crazy. She's great on the part of capturing, too. She also heals teammates with her skill 2 while holding it. Now coming to the cons, she is good while capturing treasure with the shield but not much on the part of defending. Yes, she can create a shield avoiding the runner to capture the treasure but she doesn't have knockback on the third hit so she can't counter the Dark Roger much if she doesn't have her skill one ready. Secondly, she doesn't have much heals. She only heals while hitting defenders which is 3% of max HP. So if you're low on HP you might suffer in the match. Now coming to the next part, the character you're strong against. Well, she is strong against the new Seraphim Snake and even Gear 5 too. Basically, she can counter all defenders if she wants to capture treasure. You just have to use skill 1 to create a shield and just capture the treasure as she has boost capture speed too. Just remember your HP must be above 70%. Now characters you're weak against. She should stay away from attackers like Green Roger and high damaging attackers. She can't even remove the hacky of Film Red Shanks, and the Dark Element is weak against all the other elements. So, Film Red Shanks can easily counter her along with Green Roger. Runners can also be problematic if you're defending, as you can almost guard one treasure due to your skill, one limitations. Rest, you can prefer being a runner as she is best on that part. Now the last part, the metal set. The metal set which you can use on her. First is Triple Kaido. The OG Kaido Metal which reduces cooldown on skill 1 on getting damage. The Hybrid Kaido Metal which reduces skill 1 cooldown on capturing treasure. And third is Defender Kaido Metal which increases damage dealt by 5% in captured treasure. The second one would be Triple Luffy. You can choose from this as there are many Luffy medals, but try to match either Paramecia or Zone Tag in all three medals. You can choose to reduce damage dealt to metals, which would be the best of her. Third is the Triple Boa set, as we all know this is the most favorite as she has increased damage dealt on specific conditions. Well, that's all for the character explanation. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. See you in the next one.